Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Polaroid emulsion lift. Here is a quick overview of everything you will need. First of all, you need a developing tray or a shallow bin. Watercolor paper, I usually go for a heavyweight paper, about 300 grams, and also the thick paper holds up better when submerged in the water. The Polaroid Lab. Also, you can find my spool review on the Polaroid Lab linked to this video. An electric kettle, scissors, a flathead soft bristled paintbrush like this, film for the Polaroid Lab. In this case, I'm using a pack of iType color film. And last but not least, your smartphone with the Polaroid app installed. Some optional materials you may also want to include consists of a hair dryer and a varnish or finishing spray, which can add an extra layer of protection once you are finished with the final image. Now we're ready to start. First, you're going to want to make sure that all of your settings such as true tone and night shift are turned off and also that your brightness is turned up about halfway. The app will also alert you of this in case you have forgotten. Let's select our photo. In this case, I'm using photo of Alexander Platt in Berlin. You can also zoom in and center it however you'd like and hit print. Be sure to line up the dots on the phone with the dots on the printer. And once the image comes out, you can turn it over and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. While I'm waiting, I usually use this time to go ahead and heat up my water and pour it into the tray. Time's up, let's see how our picture looks. That looks pretty good. So let's grab our scissors and cut off the white border. Now, if you leave some of the border along the edges, it will actually create like a black line around the photo. I tend to cut the border completely off because I have experienced times when the emulsion sticks carefully separate the plastic protective layer from the front of the Polaroid. Removing this plastic front layer is actually the easiest way to do this emulsion lift. However, it is not uncommon for the plastic layer to stick to the emulsion. If the front layer doesn't come off, go ahead and pull off the back of the Polaroid. Or if that's also not coming off, just drop the entire image into the hot water and let it soak for a little bit until you can carefully separate the layers. Now you can see how quickly the emulsion lifts off in the hot water. You can then take your paintbrush and carefully brush off the rest of the emulsion until it's free floating in the water. I also try to remove the negative layers. Then go ahead and get your watercolor paper ready. If the water is still too hot, wait for it to cool down so you don't burn your fingers off. Or if you're a little impatient like me, you can also add a cup of room temperature water to it to speed up the process. Then insert the paper into the water and using your thumbs and forefingers, try to grab the corners of the emulsion and carefully pull it out of the water. You will have to repeat this motion while also rotating the image on the paper until it smooths out. As you can see here, the emulsion is curling and sticking to itself a bit. If this happens, just use your paintbrush to help smooth it out, or you can also remove the paper completely and dunk the paintbrush into the hot water and smooth out the wrinkles by hand. Just be very gentle with the emulsion so that it doesn't tear in the process. Well, that looks pretty good to me. Once you get it to the point that you want it, you can let it air dry, or in this case, speed up the driving process with a hair dryer. And lastly, a light coating of finishing spray. Ideally, you should do this outside because it smells bad. And there you have it. And if you would like a more polished look, you can always put a mat on it like this, or a frame like this. In my next video, I will be showing you how to do a panorama image with multiple emulsion lifts just like this. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. I'm Erin O'Leary.